Greetings and salutations fellow music creators, Sam here and today I'm going to show you 5 ways you can automate in Mixcraft 10. Automation is a game changer when it comes to honing your mixing skills to create a balanced mix. So whether you're looking to automate an audio track manually, on the fly during recording, on a send track for effects or on the master track, we've got you covered. Plus, we have a special bonus tip on utilizing MIDI controllers for intuitive real-time controls. So without further ado, let's dive in and automate our mix. The first one I have for you is just basic manual automation. And so what I will do is, for instance, on a drum track, you can either do this inside the track, making marker dots and raising and lowering the level manually right here. Uh, or we could also go to the track volume and it'll display it. And we can resize. And so we've got the same three lines, but in this one we can edit this. And so this is a place where we can, you know, maybe we want in the beginning, we can just bring down the volume on that ever so slightly. And so then that will just gently slide in and then you know, maybe on the changes here where we've got this, you know, sudden change, get in our markers, do a quick little listen. So this is a quick and easy way that we can, you know, hand put in automations. And then we can hide this one. But you can see how the lines show up. And, you know, we can see these automation lines. It's a great way to approach it. And so there's, you know, basic manual automations. So moving on to number two, automating while recording. And this is another fun one that we can do because we can actually arm the track. It's like for this one, for the, I've got a send track from the drums into the drum compressor for this one on the recording so i can pull this this is really low
All right, moving on to number three. So having send tracks and effects and being able to bring them in and out is a really fun way of one of those things, you know, where you can really use automation to push and pull a song. And so then, you know, even on something where I've got guitar effects on a separate channel, uh, this is a really great way of having either another track or you can do this with the send tracks as well. This allows us to bring them in only when we really want them. So if we take a look, and, you know, we can see that, you know, that's pretty light. Let's normalize this to get a better look real quick. Properties. Normalize. Okay, so we can see, you know, where where it is at the moment. So, you know, I could come in here to just make some little checkpoints. So using it on, you know, you can do that with your send tracks or a dedicated uh, printed effects track that you've got going on. Just another fun way of using automation. All right. This one's probably one of my favorites that I like to use. So what I like in Mixcraft is we do have a master track. And with this master track, that gives us control over volume automation on the master fade. Uh, so this is a fun one to play with. And this is a great trick. Uh, so let's get this one going. Make this one bigger, because I know exactly what I want to do. This is basically the automation pop trick. So I'm going to wait until the very tail end of the song here where it's going to do the main transition but what I want to do is I want to come all the way back to the beginning and I'm going to drop this a whole decibel come back over Here, I know the main transition's somewhere in here. This one, I want to make sure that this one, I'm going to have this one go up two decibels. Make sure that this is negative. And so this gives us a nice transition in volume.
that's a way that we can use the pop trick on the master track. So, you know, you pull it down a decibel and then, you know, have it go up a decibel or two in the choruses and then, you know, have your outro and your, your outro chorus or the tail part of your song, you know, have it gradually build and build and build and then crescendo out on the outro. Using automation is a great way to bring flow and dynamics to a song. The master track is a great way to use this when you've got everything else dialed in and you need just that extra little bit of pop to take that track to the next level. Master track, automation, is the way to go. This is one of my favorite things to use in uh, the arsenal of mixing and especially mixing and mix mix craft. It, it really makes this uh, easy with these drop down volume uh, menus and uh, you know whether or not you want to do them in that menu or close it out and just do it inside the track menu or inside individual tracks. I mean we have so many wonderful options here to play around with volume fades, um, uh, stereo fades and other things like this. And so this brings us to the fifth one, utilizing a MIDI controller for recording these functions. I'm going to initiate my MIDI controller to learn. Okay, so this is what we want. All right, so that's my fader on my MIDI program, on my MIDI keyboard. And so now I can arm that. It's all where you're looking. It's all in how you look. Is there a darkest mountain coming into view? Take a little time and dare to climb. There's hope for me and you. It's all in how you're looking. It's all in how you look. Open up your eyes. And you will find. It's a big old world. And it's yours and it's mine Open up your eyes It's all where you're looking It's all in how you look Is there a darkest mountain Coming into view Take a little time and dare to climb There's hope for me and you It's all in how you're looking It's all in how you look All right, so I mean, you know, normally you would take your time and go through and, you know, make sure where your peak levels were and other things. But I just wanted to go through these, you know, five different ways of utilizing automation and other fun stuff inside of Mixcraft. And, you know, there's just so many wonderful ways to route your signals and go through and hand automation, use fader automators. Um, uh, there's even, you know, third-party programs you can bring in. Um, we'll get into that in a whole nother video, bringing in third-party um, VSTs. All right, I think that wraps it up. And there you have it. Five methods to automate in Mixcraft 10, empowering you to achieve that polished, professional sound with ease. We explored manual automation, recording automation moves, send track automation, master track automation, and the dynamic control offered by MIDI controllers. If you found this video helpful and want to discover more music production tips and tricks, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support fuels our passion for sharing knowledge and helps us create more content for you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep creating.